Hey guys, so today I am checking out a very special place. This place is called Mogu Mogu Ramen. So it's not your usual ramen spot because they specialize in dry ramen. Yeah, it's a little bit different. No broth in these ramens, but either way, it sounds super interesting. So I'm really excited to try it out. Let's go check it out. Hey! guys as you came in it's so cute little bar area and right here it says how to eat mazimen 101 so that's what it's called mazimen is dry noodles um, step one share with your friends step two is you mix everything together add the sauces vinegar and extra umami and then enjoy take a scoop of rice at the very end with the sauce and you get to finish off the meal so here is their menu so the mazimen section has six different one over here and they also have an impossible one for vegan options we're gonna try all of that out today i'm super excited okay you guys look at this it looks so freaking incredible we got the kilto mazimen here so i popped the egg yolk and you gotta mix it really really well in order to fully enjoy the flavor but look at that every single one is so beautifully plated that's the cheese one we got a curry one this is the vegan one and we got some appetizers as well takoyaki and chicken karage oh my gosh you guys i can't wait to get started that one's a deluxe one that one looks amazing too all right guys let's get started on the food oh my gosh let's start with the appetizers so we got the takoyaki these are octopus balls one of my favorite japanese apps ever it's covered with bonito flakes which is fish flakes and some tonkatsu sauce and kiwi mayonnaise. Mm. Mm. So they're basically like a fried potato ball and inside there's a little piece of taco which is octopus. That's what it's called, taco. Yeah, taco, taco, um, octopus ball. Mm. Try some of the popcorn chicken out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hot. We have so much noodles to get through, you guys. So let's get started. Like I said, this first one is the Kelto one. You gotta mix it really, really well to enjoy it to the fullest. Mix, mix, mix. And then so on the side here, they have a sesame seed grinder. Comes from here. I'm gonna grind some sesame seeds on there because I love sesame seeds. <laughs> nice. So you see this spoonful? Ooh, that sesame seed it gives us such a good aroma too. It smells like peanut butter actually, kind of. Well, let's try this flavor. Mm. The noodles are so thick and chewy, you guys. Oh my god, I chopped chicken. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. <laughs> I got it all over my mouth already. Oh my gosh. Okay, and I just couldn't stop like just smelling this. This one is the curry one, and I love curry flavor, so you guys see the egg yolk, right? And pop the egg yolk. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay. I'm gonna mix this up real well. Mix, mix, mix. And the curry flavor smells so good. There's some spice on this too. Oh, you guys know I love eating spicy. Oh my god, this one is so so aromatic. Okay. Look at the spice, you guys. Look at that. Okay, try this bite out. Oh my god. This one definitely has a kick. It's got that spice. I'm gonna add a little bit of vinegar too for this. To kind of like break up the noodles a little bit. It's very heavy. So let's try with the vinegar. Oh, and it breaks up that flavor a little bit. It's actually really good like separation. Mm. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay. I'm so curious. This one is the vegan bowl. So beautifully plated. Look at that. You got radishes, you got avocados, you got Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. We're gonna add a little bit more vinegar just to break up the noodles and grind my sesame seeds. Alright, let's try a bite of this. Mm. Wow. Honestly, you can't tell it's even vegan. The sauce on it tastes all the same, and there comes with so much toppings, all these vegetables. A little bit misleading because I thought this one was the vegetable one. I mean the vegan one, but this one is just a mis uh, vegetable miso flavor. There's a sweet and sour sauce on top with tofu, a lot of veggies. Okay. Ooh, Ooh it's got a lot of that. Sweet and sour taste going Let's try some tofu right now. Try tofu. Mm. Super crispy. Don't worry, I fell into another bowl. So far, my favorite is the curry one because it's spicy. There's also like a little chili. I have some extra chili on the side too, but we're gonna keep going. We'll try out the other ones. This is the cheese one. Look at that big glob of cheese. Is that the egg yolk? Oh yeah. Mix, mix, mix. Gotta mix. So cheesy noodles. It's, I see garlic, minced garlic here. A lot of green onions, which is amazing. This one's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste so so gooey. It's gonna be so creamy. Okay. Yeah. Extra creamy cheesy noodles. Mmm. Yeah. If you like that extra gooey dewy texture, this is perfect. This one actually ends up tasting more like pasta than ramen. So if you're going for that, this is the flavor to go with. Mm. All right, now let's try this one. Just got a muzz in the bowl. Ooh, too, look at the egg yolk, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's got minced pork on this one, seaweed, minced garlic. I love the minced garlic flavor, you guys. It just adds so much flavor. Okay, here we go. Let's try this one out. Oh my god. Really, really meaty flavor. I love it. Okay, and I've been saving the best for last. Because this is the deluxe one. Look how much toppings is in on this. You got char shoe, you got boiled egg, you got the whole shebang in this one. Pop that egg yolk. You're gonna have to mix this real well because there's so much stuff in this one. And I'm gonna add in the chili oil into this one. Okay, this is gonna be extra flavorful. Vinegar, sesame seeds. So this one is gonna taste so good. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. Mix, mix, mix. All right, first off, we're gonna try out the char siu meat. Look at that, super fatty, super gooey. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna bite into this soft boiled egg. Oh, beautiful, beautiful soft boiled egg. All right, let's try these nudes out. Mm. Wow, okay, so obviously this one won in topping, but as far as the flavor goes, the curry one is still my favorite. I just, it's got everything on its own already. The curry flavor, I like stronger savory flavors, so curry, awesome. It's also naturally spicy, but this deluxe one, it would be my second favorite. Either way, all of these are just so good. Like seriously, their noodle texture is perfect, super chewy. All right guys, I am finishing up the curry bowl. You see how at the bottom, there's so much sauces and like leftovers. This is when the rice comes in. So they gave you a small little cup of rice. Now you mix this up. Mix, mix, mix. So that rice soaks up all the flavor and like the leftover toppings, all the green onion, the chili flakes, the sesame seeds, our sauces, and look, look at this delicious, delicious bite. Oh my god. You see this? Look at that. It soaks up all that flavor. Let's try this out. Oh my god. Mm. The rice and the curry with all that garlic and green onion. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. Well, I, told you, I taste those garlic bits, man. It tastes amazing. I want to show you guys a close up, but you see there's so much freaking flavor left over. So much umami in this one bowl. Finish up the bowl of um, curry rice here. But yeah, this is such a cool experience, you guys. Dry root ramen is definitely very unique. And I really, like if you guys are in the area, they have another location in LA as well. So one in Costa Mesa, one in LA. The deluxe curry in Tokyo were my favorite flavors. Mm. Oh my God. Honestly, I think the ending part is my favorite because you're gonna get all that flavor in. Mm. Wow. Yeah, they did this in Japan too. I got it in Japan and towards the end of ramen. You know, you have all that extra sauce and the soup. They give you more rice than this, but I'm pretty sure you could just ask for more rice if you wanted. But yeah, they do the same thing in Japan. So you get an extra carbs. Because in Japan, you're walking a lot. So you need all the extra cardio, all the extra carbs to fill you up. Mm. But such a satisfying way of eating dry ramen. Mm. Oh my gosh. Well, what an experience that was. My hair is a mess. Oh my gosh, getting out of the restaurant. It got so busy, you guys. So it's really popular. Definitely check them out. And if you do, let them know I sent you. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I, I hope you can like taste that ramen through my lens. Those noodles were so chewy. Oh my God, so good. And the, and the, the like um, rice afterwards, it was just like a mini savory dessert for me. It was so good <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye hey thank you so much for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise i've got clothing prints and stickers all up on there and make sure to check out my social media my facebook page um i do a lot of live streaming and on my instagram page i do a lot of giveaways and on my twitter page i also give a shout out to where i might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey okay and then check out my other videos and again make sure you subscribe Thank you so much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye